before we start the video, I just want to go through um, basically the wiring of the LED strip just so the actual video makes a bit more sense. Um, so here you can see basically just very standard, um, you've got your 12 volt source on the right and then going connecting up to your LED strip. So on your LED strip you have copper contacts here um, and this is where you can cut the LED strip if you want to trim it down to size but always make sure you've got your contacts so you can connect your wire to each individual strip. Um, so here it's very simple with one, one LED strip you just go for your 12 volt source which could be your leisure batteries um, or, or whatever your, 12, your wire from your, from your solar charge controller or something like that um, and then onto your contacts there to give your one LED strip light up. Now I, want, I have two LED strips so I want to I have two but I'm going to have them on the same switch so I want them both to come on at the same time. So if you want two LED strips just like this what you what what I did because of the way I ran the wire, um, you take your 12 volt source, same as before, and you have your connection to the first LED strip. Um, and then what you need to do is you need to bring that 12 volts back round to the next strip. So you can see on the left hand side you've got the contacts there. And what I did is I put two wires together on the connection for the first contact, like that one there, and the same for the negative. So another wire in there, and you'll see this in the video. Um, and then what that basically does, it means the LED strip is running off the same 12 volts um, and it will come on at the same time when I flick the switch. So if you, at any point, if you want to switch on it, you can put a, put a switch in this live wire here from the battery and that'll, that'll switch the, the both of them on at the same time. Another way you can do it is like this. So if you've got contacts on the other side, um, the LED strip will have contacts on both sides. You can just solder wires uh, onto the those contacts and do it like a ring. Um, it's a more simpler way of doing it. But the way the reason I did it like this is because that's how I had my wires ran, and that's perfectly valid. Com both ways work perfectly well. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to show you that before we start the video, um, so it makes a bit more sense when we're actually watching it. I've got some LED strip here, um, so this is warm white LED strip, uh, 12 volt obviously. Um, and what I want to do is run it all the way along the top here. So it's got an adhesive backing on it which I can use to just stick it down. Um, but because it's going to be quite hard to solder and connect up when it's here, what I'm going to do is put two spade connections on this wire here and then I'll chop this. Um, get the two wires out, put two, the opposite spade connector on there and then when it's on there you can just do that and then plug it in straight away. When it comes to cutting it, you want to cut it, any of these copper contacts is where you can cut it. So what I'll do is um, cut it on the copper contact, scrape away this plastic, uh, this gel plastic sort of protection stuff, solder onto each of the contacts and then put spade connections on the end of those wires that are soldered on here. For this first one, I'm just going to cut off this connector, so I'll leave a bit of wire both sides, and then strip it back. So I've got my two wires exposed on the LED strip, um, I've just twisted the ends, and then I've done the same up here. So this is the wire that runs in here, all the way along down back to my electronics, so they're labelled up down there, and which ones are which LED strip, and so on and so on. Um, so yeah, that's the wire from the from the leisure battery area. Um, so what I've got here is I've got some male and female spade connections. So the male will put on there, crimp it down, and the female will be crimped on there. And then what that will allow me to do is just simply plug them in when it comes to connecting it up. And equally, if I want to change it, I can just unplug it, and I don't have to mess with any of this wiring which is a nice benefit. The first things first, we're going to tin the wires. I've just got a solder here. Okay. Now we're going to tin the contacts on the LED strip. So you've got to tin both surfaces when you're uh, soldering together.
Done. Right, now what we're going to do is join the wires, solder the wire onto there. So the positive onto there and the negative onto there. So here you can see I've soldered the, uh, the wires onto the contacts there. Nice neat job and that's ready to connect to the van. So if you're going to do this yourself I recommend putting some heat shrink on here which you can, before you solder it, then you can just slide over um, and shrink it down. I've just forgotten to do that so uh, you're going to have to use some insulation tape. But yeah, I recommend doing heat shrink because it'll be a lot quicker. Okay, so what I've got is I've got another LED strip going along here. So we've seen the LED strip, which is here. Um, so we've got the two connections on. These are going to connect to this wire. So this wire goes up here, all the way along, and it goes to that LED strip there. So the circuit goes LED strip, wire, to here. Then this wire will go onto the LED strip, but we also need to then give it the 12 volts. So this and this used to be connected. So this, all this is, is this is the wire I ran. So I ran, all my wires come out here. And I ran the um, LED strip wire here. You can see it, LED strip. I ran it all the way up, up here, up here. Put a loop in it, then ran it all the way along to there. So what I've done is I've cut that wire, which was attached, and I've stripped both ends. And then what I'm going to do is have the positive and the positive together, and the negative and the negative together. So I'm going to have to put it in a blue spade connector because the wires are thicker. Um, but that's what's going to then give the 12 volts up from the um, leisure batteries into the first LED strip. And the second wire in there is, is takes the 12 volts out and up and round to the next LED strip. So that's how we're going to connect it. I hope that makes sense. So all I've done is twisted the uh, 12 volts in and with the 12 volts out to the next strip together. And then I'm going to put my blue crimp on there and that will be able to connect them. Just put the panel on now. So, and you can see the LED strip is completely hidden. Uh, all the wiring is hidden as well. So when that goes on, hopefully that's going to be very, very effective. I hope the explanation wasn't too rubbish and the diagram made it a little bit clearer um, on how to set up your LED strip. But if there's any other questions, leave a comment or, or something and I'll try and answer them. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.